I'm Dr. Umar Johnson, the Prince of Pan-Africanism. I'm a doctor of clinical psychology, certified school psychologist, and an educator. And I'm also author of the book, Psychoacademic Holocaust, The Special Education and ADHD Wars Against Black Boys. I'm currently in the process of raising money to try to build the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Boys, which will be the first school of its kind ever created in this country, a residential academy based on the principles of Pan-Africanism and African culture. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, you said you're building a school yes, right, for boys. Can you tell us what type of uh, subjects are going to be in that school? Okay. Um, there's going to be a lot. But the academic core is going to be based on six major sciences. So there's going to be agricultural and agronomical science. We're also going to teach them financial and economic science. We want our children to be economically independent. We want them to be able to earn a living for themselves, political and military science, mm -hmm. because we want our young men to understand the world in which they live. Once the boys' school is up, then we want to open up the girls' school, which will be the Anna Douglas and Amy Garvey Academy for Young Sisters. Okay, so we heard that you were in London? Yes, ma'am. London. How did that go? London went well. I spent a week in England, and of course London is the capital city, and then I spent a week in Holland, which is called the Netherlands, and Amsterdam is the capital city. Mm -hmm. So while I was in England, and this is probably my seventh or eighth time speaking there, well, I did a little tour. I spoke in Birmingham, England, London, obviously, which sold out, and we spoke in Luton, and then I spoke in Wolverhampton, and then I spoke in another city called Manchester, which was very significant for me because in Manchester, England, in 1945, there was a very famous Pan-African Congress that was held. And some of the leaders who would go on to liberate Africa from European colonial rule, they went to that meeting. It was called the 1945 Fifth Pan-African Congress in Manchester, England. So I had an opportunity to visit the site where those great Pan-Africans met back in 1945. And I'll be going back to Manchester in October because it will be the 70th anniversary of the 1945 Pan-African Congress, and so they're going to have a very large celebration to commemorate that great meeting, which led to the end of white domination in Africa. And then I flew over to the Netherlands, which is another European country, it was only a 40 minute flight, and so I did two programs in Holland, and then, excuse me, two programs in Amsterdam, and then two programs in Rotterdam, which is about an hour away from Amsterdam. As a Pan-Africanist, I feel that I have an, I have an obligation to spread the Pan-African message and the energy all around the world. So I don't like to just concentrate on America because most black people don't live in America. For example, Brazil and South America the, is the largest population of black folk outside of Africa. Asia, there's more blacks in Asia than there is in the United States of America. Okay, there's a lot of blacks in Europe, Australia, Canada, the Caribbean. Okay, so I like to spread my message and spread my energy all across the world. So I'll be going to Jamaica coming up soon, Canada's coming up soon, um, going back to Africa as well, where we was in July, we were in Ghana. So we want to do another trip there. And also, there's a small chance that I might be building my first school in Africa as well. Okay. Well, do you mind giving United Youth New Jersey a shout out? Oh, it's United Youth of New Jersey. I want to give them a big shout out, Dr. Umar Johnson, long-term supporter. They actually knew me before y'all knew me, before the doctorates and the, and the documentaries and all of that. United Youth of New Jersey, always been down with Dr. Umar from day one. So I want to give a big shout out to United Youth of New Jersey, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Show love to them. Thank you. Thank you.